What's going on everybody? Akeem Lawanson here filling in for Sydney Goodman. Today's Daily Fix is presented by Pokemon Go. Let's go. The new Diamond Casino update for GTA Online went live yesterday, but players aren't exactly living it up in the city. That's because strict anti-gambling laws in over 50 countries are blocking players from purchasing chips at the virtual casino. GTA's online casino runs on in-game money, which can be purchased with real-world money. But since you can't win back any real money at the in-game blackjack tables, that's a bit of a problem. On Reddit, players shared stories of failing to get their gamble on and compiled a list of 54 countries where chips can't be purchased, including China, North Korea, Poland, and Iceland. The question of loot boxes has been debated a lot recently, and GTA's mechanics seem like the next step towards straight up gambling. All that's missing is the subtle aroma of cigarette smoke and a bunch of senior citizens in Disney World shirts and flip flops. Now we could argue all day about whether video games are addictive, and I'm looking at you World Health Organization, but gambling is another story. Have fun with GTA's casino, just take a couple extra minutes to think before you lose your real world car at the poker table. Cause it's virtual guys. Now your Xbox One home screen is getting renovated. The biggest new change will be no more Cortana, at least not through the console. A post on the Xbox blog explained how voice assist is moving to the cloud. So you'll be able to use voice commands to control your Xbox. But to get to Cortana, you'll have to go through an Amazon Alexa product or mobile device. Let's be honest, guys. Chances are you won't even notice Cortana's absence. But I do feel kind of bad that she's essentially losing her job to automation. Just like the rest of us, right? Cortana's exit isn't the only change to Xbox's UI. The twist elements at the top of the home screen are also getting replaced with shortcuts to games, and there will soon be more room for recently played game tiles. The slightly more streamlined design will go live for Xbox Insiders in the Alpha Skip Ahead ring this week. For the rest of us, it'll roll out this fall. The first official trailer for Zombieland Double Tap dropped today. Just going off the first glimpse, it looks like the zombies have evolved, but the gags and the characters have not. Comparisons to Shaun of the Dead are inevitable for any comedic zombie film, but the scene at the end of the trailer, where Woody Harrelson's Tallahassee and Jesse Eisenberg's Columbus meet their doppelgangers, played by Luke Wilson and Thomas Middleditch, is straight out of the first Cornetto movie. Okay, now that I've said my piece, I'm sure it's going to be just as fun and gory as Zombieland was when it came out a decade ago. Other welcome additions to the cast include Rosario Dawson and Zoe Deutsch, with a script by the original writers. Remember, always check the back seat. Zombieland 2 Double Tap comes out this October 18th. And that's your daily fix for July 25th. I'm Akeem Lawanson. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out what the cyberpunk devs said about religion in their game. Download the IGN app on all your mobular devices. Subscribe to the daily fix on Snapchat, And for all things everything else, IGN.com.